channel heavenly hypnobirthing thank you so much guys for being here this video today is going to be about hypnobirthing journaling something that i am so passionate about i want to share with you guys exactly what hypnobirthing journaling is all about how it can help you on your hypnobirthing journey obviously those of you who are just checking out my video i speak all about pregnancy and hypnobirthing as well as new motherhood um those of you who are wondering what's hypnobirthing if it's the first time you're checking out my videos hypnobirthing is basically using um self-hypnosis using relaxation and breathing techniques in order to have an amazing birthing experience and it's basically to help women who have fears and anxieties around childbirth especially and pregnancy as well and those of you who know my story i had major major fears and anxieties around um giving birth to my baby girl and due to hypnobirthing i i can truly say i had an amazing birthing experience and actually looking forward to having my second baby not soon yet i'm not expecting but um i never thought i'd be saying that because i was just so scared about the whole birthing process and how difficult it was going to be but i ended up just having you know intense labor for just short three hours and i really really credited a lot to hypnobirthing okay so let's begin about hypnobirthing journaling so i just shared with you what hypnobirthing is about and what is journaling as we know journaling is basically putting into writing everything that you feel everything that you're going through and basically um allowing yourself to work on these things that are bothering you or things that you're trying to achieve or whatever it might be so how are we going to bring it back together with hypnobirthing so during hypnobirthing as i said before we work on self-hypnosis we practice relaxation we practice breathing techniques and also we get knowledgeable about the things that are scaring us and things that we have fear around. And a lot of us do not even know that we have these fears. And that is why I have a very, very short quiz, five questions to be exact. I have a very, very short quiz and you can find it um, in the link below. I will post it here and you can get it um, from me. You know, it just basically takes less than five minutes. You just answer five short questions and it can tell you if you have fears around pregnancy and childbirth. Super easy because a lot of people don't even know that they have fears around it they might just think it's pretty normal they think like you know you know certain things like they may see and they may think that it's pretty normal but a lot of times it's not very normal it's just fears that we have and we're not sure that we have it so going back to that so a lot of times people use hypnobirthing because we have fears and we have anxieties around childbirth and so you're going to be able to journal out these fears these concerns you're going to be able to transform them into empowering thoughts into turning them into affirmations we're going to be working on your birth in the environment we're going to be speaking about things that you want to experience during your birth um you can we're going to talk about your birthing partner and so many amazing things during this journaling so I want to share with you guys a bit more about how you can use hypnobirthing journaling to help you um, to get over the fear of childbirth and how you can help you to basically have a wonderful birthing experience all right okay so let's start from the beginning um, so as I said before when you're doing hypnobirthing it's a practice it is a practice so the thing is you're gonna have to constantly be practicing a lot of times you're gonna have to be listening to your scripts your affirmations your visualization this is the self-hypnosis part of it because you want to train your mind to be able to go into that deep relaxation state when those pain and the contraction and as we like to say in hypnobirthing surges hit you okay so now we're not going to be thinking about pain we're not going to be thinking about you know that inevitable thing that's going to come to you we're going to think of it in a new and exciting way like you know this is just a sign that your body is telling you that you're going to make you amazing baby and these are some of the things that i reminded myself of when i was there in the thrushes of intense surges you know it was super painful and i remember my sister being there she was my birthing partner as well as my husband but she did the hit the birthing class with me bless her thank you so much for that Zorana um she was there helping me with my visualization helping me to take me back with my breathing and my relaxation and I remember keep telling myself as those surges kept coming and even as they get intense and even up to the top I kept telling myself you know my baby is getting closer to me okay so these are the things that you kind of have to put into your mind and this is why journaling is so so good so the first thing that you're going to do is start to journal out those fears that you have what are the things that you are concerned about when it comes to childbirth what was pregnancy issues that you were having why you know we're not gonna go into the why just yet but you're gonna list those fears out maybe you were scared of the pain maybe you're scared of hospitals i was scared of hospitals you're scared of needles i had to have um the thing in your your vein whatever you call that like 
I've never had that before and I was really, really, really not looking forward to that. But due to my hypnobirthing training, I was able to like, I didn't have, I couldn't even watch, but I was able to relax myself enough to just let it be done and know, you know, this is just all a part of the process and therefore you're going to work on all these things. So as I said before, you're going to speak about the fears, you're going to put them down, all the things that are concerning you, and then you're then going to turn that over into the positive affirmation part of it. You're going to write. So journaling is so important because when you put things down in writing, that is when it becomes even more tangible to you. And a lot of times when you put it in writing, you tend to see like, you know, these things are just things that you're making up in your own mind and things that are not really true. Because a lot of the, thing, the other things that we are fearful about is just basically um, what we've created in our mind minds and our own imagination and it's not really true so you're going to be able to put those things down on paper and you'll be able to evaluate it and really say to yourself is this really true is this going to be like such a big problem and if it is then we're going to reframe that thought and take it from a negative thing and put it into a positive thing another thing as well that i like to do during hypnobirthing journaling is like all these stories and these narrative that we have around childbirth and a lot of times it comes from other people's experiences which are most likely very negative unfortunately and sometimes it comes from movies and television and these things that we see that childbirth is so horrible and it's so intense and whatever whatever right when that's not relatively true because more and more women are now experiencing wonderful birthing experience and it has to, a lot to do with reframing this mind of ours this mindset and i did a video on mindset um i think last week so you can go back and check that out right and that's what hypnobirthing does it allows you to tap into that part of your brain that neocortex part that is evaluative that is so analytical and you're storing up all these things there especially where the fear is being created and you're going to be able to say to yourself and you're going to be able to say um you know to be able to evaluate it and be like you know what this doesn't necessarily have to be true and we're going to change that narrative into something else that's going to benefit you and benefit your wonderful baby and i always like to say to people like hypnobirthing is not only about you of course we're going to be focusing on the mom and you know focusing on you and your mindset and everything else but think about when you actually meet your gorgeous baby when they come out into this wonderful positive um, environment where you're not screaming and you're not in pain while well, you're in pain but you're not like really like in pain like really you know in a negative way you're bringing that baby into a um, environment that is relaxed and calm and so enjoyable you know what i mean and that is obviously going to affect your baby's disposition i really believe that it's going to be able to influence that baby and how he or she sees the world already because that's what they've come into like right now my daughter is such a calm um and relaxed individual like i cannot say anything else like i know i'm a very calm person but i think very much she did not come into this world screaming and kicking and in distress she came out really relaxed she wasn't even crying she was just basically there like you know i'm here it was just so amazing and i really credit it that to hypnobirth i journal during my hypnobirthing um practice as well is the ideal birthing experience that i would have wanted and of course you as you can imagine i i put down i do not want to be in hours and hours of labor i do not want to be in hours and hours of labor that was one of the things that was so important to me and lo and behold i only had three hours of intense labor amazing you know what i mean because i really believe that when you put things down in writing and you really believe it with all of your heart and that's what journaling does you can actually create that existence for you because then this is your now this is now your narrative this is what you believe to be true for you yourself and this is like a lot of times have to do with your everyday life but let's speak specifically about hypnobirthing like you can create the experience and the birthing experience that you desire for yourself you do not have to subject yourself to going down the same route that everybody else did which was hours and hours of labor very very painful baby screaming and all these kind of things not to say that a woman who have done hypnobirthing has always had it smooth and positive like i did because i know of several women who you know did the same training with me and they did not have the same experience but i want to say that i really am an advocate for the fact that you've done your best you've done the work on yourself you have done the work in creating that new mindset and that new belief and therefore it's now out of your hands and i know all the time that we see in hypnobirthing you get more control over your birth which is true because then you can influence a lot of things but at the end of the day we are not God, we are not the creator, and then we do not have control of the things that are happening to us. It's all about how we respond to these things, okay? That is very, very important. I want to put that as a disclaimer, and I think I have a video on that as well. 
like a lot of times we cannot influence the things that happen to us but what we can influence is the way that we react to these things like how are we um allowing these things to shape us and how are we allowing these things to be able to um make us a better person from it and how are we reacting to it and that's where the training comes in so you've been affirming you've been journaling you've been able to write out the things that you want for yourself you've been visualizing day in and day out and you've been listening to your scripts and you've trained your mind to do the things that you would be able to do to cope with um the pain and the surges and everything that's coming in there for you you're going to relax and i saw an amazing photograph the other day on think on, on instagram those of you who are not following me on instagram you need to go i'm at zanny b davis and actually this mom was actually giving birth in a birthing pool and she had headphones in and she was just taking her baby out gradually while in the water in such a calm relaxed state and i was like that's gonna be me in my second birth i want to give birth in a water birth so badly and she was just so relaxed because she was listening to her scripts and she was listening to her affirmations and that is how important it is affirmations and journaling when it comes to your real life experience i want to say that because that is just so amazing right so guys this is just a reminder for you guys that hypnobirthing journaling is not new but it's something that i am going to be exploring quite a lot more because i love journaling and I also am a very good ad big advocate for hypnobirthing. I am now in training to become a hypnobirthing coach because I really believe that you know there's a better way to giving birth and experiencing pregnancy and of course becoming a new mother and doesn't involve overwhelm and stress and worry and all these kind of things. Like I'm a huge huge advocate when it comes to balanced lifestyle and being able to live our best lives and that means being happy and enjoying our lives as much as we can and if i can influence that then i'm definitely going to put in the work to ensure that i have a wonderful experience in whatever i do i do not believe that everything has to be difficult i do not believe that everything has to be hard i believe in a different mindset i believe that things get to be easy and things get to be happy and things get to be joyful and i believe that we can choose to experience life in a different way but it all starts with this mindset and that's so so very important okay so i want to let you guys know i am working on creating a hypnobirthing journal that is specific to me and everything that i journaled throughout my pregnancy and it's going to be on sale soon on amazon it's going to be a journal it's going to be so beautiful because obviously i love beautiful things it's going to be so inspirational and it's going to give you a chance to be able to write out the things that you're experienced experiencing and your practice and everything else i'm going to keep you in that right mindset to be able to create the birth experience of your dreams a wonderful experience for you and your baby it's also going to involve your birthing partner because i believe we cannot do it alone i'm a firm advocate again of support because as i said before it gets to be easy we don't have to do it all on our own even if you're a single mom and everything else you can find support and therefore in the journaling um in my journal as well there's going to be space for you to you know journal out about what your your partner's support is going to be like what do you want them to do how you can support them as well i'm so excited about this journal because it's going to be so amazing for first time moms especially i know i'm obviously i was a first time i am a first time mom and so i was super excited because my husband and i were like trying for like over a year and then we finally got pregnant i was obviously nervous and excited all at the same time and i was so happy to be able to journal out my feelings and while i was doing my hypnobirthing training to be able to journal out the things that i was experiencing the things that i wanted to experience as well and so this journal is going to be exactly that like guys i'm so excited about this so please stay tuned for that release it's going to be on amazon you'll be able to order it and it'll be able to be your copy that's going to be individual to you it's going to be titled my hypnobirthing birthing journal all right and of course i'm going to be able to help you guys walk you through it because it is obviously designed for people who are doing hypnobirthing so i would advise you to do the hypnobirthing course which of course i'll be offering soon as well and then you'll be able to journal it around your experience and the things that you're learning and the things that you're expecting or you want to experience for your baby and your birth and everything else i'm so excited about that i can't say it enough okay so this is what this video was about hypnobirthing journaling and how 
um it's probably very relatively new you probably never even heard of it before there's so many things that you can journal about but this is going to be so specific to hip birthing i know there are pregnancy journals out there there are new mommyhood journals and everything else but this is going to be putting that experience the course the things that you're learning and put it together in a journal that's going to help you to be able to get the experience that you desire for yourself and your baby all right so guys thank you so much for joining me as always i would love for you to like this video comment and share it with uh, moms on new moms to be who um, you think this would, would basically benefit and of course subscribe to my channel where there are gonna be so much more exciting videos to come as I said before it's summer and I will try to do some videos outside but then you have to think about the background noise as well in my house it's relatively quiet and I don't have to do any editing with songs so that's like really really important to me because I know I have so much I want to share with you guys and I want it to come across as clearly as possible so go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for my next next week video which of course we'll see what topic we're going to be talking about next so um as i said as well you can also follow me on instagram and facebook at zani b davis and i would love you guys to come over on instagram i share so much about my little girl and our life and the things that we're doing and the things that i'm into and all these amazing things and my stories and all of that so guys definitely come in and check it out so thank you guys for watching my video i hope to see you guys soon take care bye